Until recently, the prevailing orthodoxy concerning perception was rooted in an Enlightenment objectivist model which proposed that sensory systems take in the world passively, with information coursing into our brain to form rich internal representations of the world that we use to guide our behaviour. This view of perception is embedded in scientific culture and as a result is embodied in the hardware and software of our technologies. A more recent view of perception has it that behaviour is tightly coupled to the way we sense the world. That perception is a temporarily extended process of active embodied engagement with the world. Body electric is informed by these notions of active sensing with respect to the subject matter of the installation and in the way the interactive cultural experience is designed. The body electric vision system is based on the Traces vision system developed by Bernhardt and Penny in 1997. It generates a real-time 3D point cloud body model from the four camera images. In body electric, the point cloud is skinned using a modified splatting approach. The body model or avatar is placed in a virtual environment of equivalent scale to the interaction space. Virtual cameras image the virtual environment from the sides with live perspective correction based on the position of the user's head. The camera views are sent out to the two projectors. Autonomous agents, represented by green octahedra, also inhabit the space. These are analogous to the fish's prey. Their location and proximity is indicated by the changing colour of the skin of the avatar in a way that is analogous to the changes in the skin response of the fish. Agent location is also communicated to the user by spatialised audio. The user's task is to capture the agents. In sensory neuroscience, the role of behaviour in perception is especially clear in certain cases, one being the weakly electric fish which hunt at night in muddy Amazon rivers where vision is useless. They utilise a weak, self-generated electric field to sense their surroundings. Thousands of sensors covering the body surface become stimulated when near the invisible objects they are hunting. They interpret these minute fluctuations in electrical activity of the skin to determine what the object is and where it is. The four video cameras are mounted at five feet high, one in each corner of the room. The eight-channel spatialised audio is played through eight speakers, one in each corner of the room. Eight custom infrared floodlights shine diagonally down and across the space from mountings at ten feet. The interaction space is 12 feet square. It has a light trap doorway on one side and 10 foot by 8 foot back projection screens set into opposing walls. At the Williamson, the backstage spaces were 14 feet long and the projection image was folded via large mirrors hung on the far walls. One of these backstage spaces also functioned as the control room. Uh, you know, just give me a little bit of movement.
moving around more or less in one place so I can catch some good footage. Hold on. I'm going to stop things for a second and I'm going to restart.